So yesterday we were looking at the perimeter of common polygons. We looked at the perimeter of a square, the perimeter of a rectangle, and the perimeter of a parallelogram. And we looked at the formulae for those, formulae being the plural of formula. Okay. Now, what we're moving on to today, though, is the perimeter of what are called composite shapes. Now, what do you think composite means? Um, normal, um, non-normal shapes. Yeah, non-normal shapes, but composite normally means things that are put together. So if you look at this one, you've got <laughs> two rectangles put together. Here you've got a rectangle and a rectangle. And here you've got a rectangle, a rectangle, and a rectangle. Actually, one of them might well be a square, but we won't, we'll talk about that later. So, when you are given shapes like this, very often you are not given all of the dimensions, okay? So they'll give you, like for this one, you've got four of the dimensions. You've got the 15 centimetres, 20, 30, and 9. But you're not given dimension X, and you're not given dimension Y. This one, you're given this dimension, 12 and 8 and 2, but you've not been given these other dimensions. However, in both of them, and in this one, you have been given enough information to work out those missing dimensions, okay? You'll always be given enough information to work them out. So let's have a look at this one. Now, what I'd like you to do with your highlights pen is highlight this dimension here, okay? Obviously, I can't highlight on the board, so I've done a red line. And then what I want you to do is to highlight the dimension that I've labelled Y and this dimension here, the one that's nine. So highlight those, okay, in one colour. Now, if you look at this dimension here that's 20 centimetres, and then if you look over here, would you agree that that dimension and that dimension are the same as that one, added together, aren't they? They're going to be the same, aren't they? So, if that's 20 and that one's 9, what's Y going to be? 11. 11. So that one's going to be 11 centimetres. Okay, now with your highlighter pen again, a different one, highlight the top here, and then the X dimension, and then the big one at the bottom, like that. Now, do we agree that those two added together are the same as the dimension at the bottom? Yes. Yeah, we do, don't we? So, if then this dimension is 30 and that's 15, what's X? 15. So, obviously, you've, we've got all of the dimensions now, haven't we? So, how are we going to find the perimeter of that shape? What are we going to do with all of those dimensions that we've got? Thrice. Add them all together. That's right. So... 20, let's go clockwise, plus 15, plus 11, plus 15, plus 9, plus 30. Okay. So what does that add up to? Twenty and thirty make fifty. Don't they? Then 9, 59, 74, 85, 100, that's right, it's 100 centimetres. Okay, or 1 metre, or 1,000 millimetres. Yes? Right, okay. So, the second one. Now this one here, we haven't got letters on this one, but we do have some other information. What other information can you see on the diagram, Cass? Um, the... What 
what are these little marks? What do they show? Um, those, uh, two sides are Very good. They show, don't they, which sides on the diagram are equal, which dimensions are equal. And so we've got, but we've got two. We've got one, we've got one, two, three, four with one little line, and then these ones with two. So what does that tell you about that dimension and that dimension? That they're not equal, that's right. Okay, we've been told that this one is eight centimetres. So which other ones are eight centimetres? Cameron? The one opposite. The one opposite, well done. We know that's eight centimetres as well. Marlo? The two, on the, top. the two at the top, well done. We know they're eight centimetres as well. Okay. Now, this one, so... If um, we don't need to actually label those, what we do need to highlight with your highlighter pen is the two along the top, this one here, and this one here, and then the 12 along the bottom. So, do you agree that this line here is the same as that one, that one, and that one added together? Yes. Yeah, because we've got square corners, haven't we? Now, how am I going to work out what these two are worth? Zane? Well, you've negative two to the top and then you've half it because there's two. Brilliant. You take two away because we know that dimension. We don't need that one. Then we've got these two left, but we know that they're equal, so we divide the answer by two. So what are they both worth? Five, Five centimetres. Very good. Five centimetres. Okay, so now we've got all the information that we need to find the perimeter, haven't we? So we can go 12, add, I'll go clockwise again, 8, add 5, add 8, add 2, add 8, add 5, add 8. What does it come to? Talon? Is it 56? Is it 56? Let's see. 20, 5, 33, 35... 43, 48, 56, well done, 56 centimetres. Okay. So, so you can see that you've not been given like a dimension there to take away for this one, but because we've got the equal signs on them, that which sides are equal, you've been given the information that you need to work it out, haven't you? This one then, let's have a look at this one, the last one. Now, what other dimension do we know straight away that I haven't written on? Yeah. Um, that, that one's 15. That yeah. one's 15 as well, isn't it? Yeah, well done. Okay. Now, what about the, what can you tell me about one, two, three, four, those five dimensions? They're all the same. They're all the same. Okay. So, if we highlight this one and that one and that one, and the bottom one, what can you tell me about those three? Um, you would, um, they're all like the same, so they all equal 15. Yeah, the three of them equal 15, don't they? So let's, if we were going to call that x, algebraically we'd write 3x equals 15. Now, when we solved equations, what did we need to do to that, to get the x on its own? Divide by three, well done, both sides. So x equals five centimetres. So, obviously, this one's five. So is this one at the side, because we're told that it's equal. That one's five, that one's five, and that one's five. So, have we got enough information now to find the perimeter of the whole shape? Yeah. We do, don't we? So, it is 15, add 15, add 15, add 5, add 5, add 5, add 5, add 5, which comes to, E1? 70. 70 watt. 70 centimetres, that's right. Very good.